Negotiations are underway to amend the South Korea's constitution to better reflect the social and economic changes, as well as to put the country on course toward being a modern democracy. Something long overdue, the last revision is from three decades back. So our Kim Minji sat down with Bruno Kaufman, president of the Initiative and Referendum Institute Europe, who's been at the forefront of promoting direct democracy. South Korea took the road to democracy some 30 years ago, ending an era of military dictatorship. And last year, the country took that democracy to another level through the candlelight protests that led to the ousting of a president, thanks to their peaceful nature. Making uh, participatory democracy a uh, formal part of the making of the politics here is very important because we come all from more, uh, let's say, autocratic traditions. Sometimes you need really to go on the streets to make your voice heard, but in a normal uh, situation, of course, it would be better to be able to use the ballot box, to use your formal rights. The main reason that sparked the candlelight protest was a deep underlying factor in Korean society. Now that is, Korea faces the problem of ridding the political system of corruption. We see shady deals between politicians, high-ranking officials, and the family-controlled conglomerates. In that aspect, um, how, do you, how do you see Korea putting an end to the rampant corruption that's embedded in Korean culture? to have a system where many things are done beyond, beyond or behind closed doors. So transparency is important, but of course division and separation of powers is also very important, that not just all the power lies in the hand of one person or one office. So more decentralization, more direct democracy, more proportionality are ways to go. In that sense, efforts are in the works to amend the country's constitution, seeking to dilute the concentration of power and introduce more features of modern democracy. I think that's very important and thirdly uh, also, of course, that the people have the rights to question things more openly and giving a minority the possibility to offer an issue to the, to the, to the people and to the nation and then to discuss it and finally to decide on it. I think it's a very important step towards a more mature democracy in Korea. And on the other side, the recall is of course a check on elected people, so it's not possible just to see uh, an election as a, a free way of doing whatever an elected person wants. So I think these check and balances are very important for making democracy a little bit more democratic here. But to get it to the next level of full democracy, hurdles must be overcome. Those in power normally are a little bit skeptical about sharing power with others and those in opposition are very skeptical about those in power and that's very natural. But what is important now for Korea is to bring all this, uh, let's say, conversations about democracy and about the country as such from the small circles of parliament and the government into the whole people because the candlelight uh, uh, rallies have shown that very many people, especially also young people, are concerned and do want to make a contribution to Korea. And while public interest remains high, he says more efforts are needed in society as a whole, as full democracy is not something that happens overnight, but comes from education and practice. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.